Hello everyone. Metallic sheets are used in many applications in our daily lives. Like car bodies, electrical appliance frames, air-conditioned ducts, and metallic furniture. But how these metallic sheets are produced? This video will give you, as a student, an overview of the hot rolling process that used for metallic sheet production. Hot rolling is a deformation process where the steel material is plastically deformed, at very high temperatures. This is done using rotating rolls to reduce the thickness of the material and produce long strips. We will be going through the various stages of the hot rolling process. Each stage requires both knowledge and experience to ensure a high quality product. In the beginning, the material is heated in the furnace, rolled in the roughing mill, coil boxed, roll in the finishing mill, then finally, cooled and coiled. Before the slab can be processed, it must be heated. The slab is continuously cast and has the dimensions required for the final product of a correct weight, width, and thickness. These furnaces heat the material to about 1,200 degrees centigrade. At this temperature the steel has a sufficient ductility to be easy to deform. The heating is especially important as it affects the properties of the material. If the material is not sufficiently heated, incorrect material properties will arise. This is due to carbides and nitrates failing to dissolve. During the heating process and transport to the roughing mill, the hot material reacts with the oxygen in the air, forming a layer of oxide known as mill scale on its surface. If this oxide layer remains during rolling, it risks being embedded into the steel, negatively impacting the surface quality of the final product. Therefore, the material must undergo mill scale removal before rolling. To cleanse the surface, water is sprayed at a high pressure of 160 bar. After the material has undergone a surface cleansing, it's sent to the roughing mill. Here the material is rolled from its original thickness of 22 cm down to about 3 cm. This is a very significant reduction. At this roughing mill, a powerful 4 high rolling mill is used. That is, two backup rolls and two smaller working rolls. The backup rolls are often cast steel rolls. The working rolls must have very smooth surfaces and tolerate high temperatures and wear, as they are in direct contact with the material. This particular material is rolled with five passes, where one pass means that the material passes through the rolls once. The material is surface cleansed several times during the roughing mill process to remove any new traces of mill scale. In order to control the width of the material, vertical rolls are used. The material is now called transfer bars. After the roughing mill, the transfer bar is rolled up in a coil box. The coil box's primary purpose is to save space, but when inside the coil box, a temperature equalization also occurs. The temperature difference between the ends of the material is minimized as the transfer bar is coiled together. When the transfer bar is removed from the coil box, it has a temperature of about 1050 degrees centigrade. The ends of the transfer bar are cut off and the bar undergoes further mill scale removal. After this, it's time for the next stage, the finishing mill. This mill consists of six stands in the shape of four high rolling mills. Here the transfer bars, now called strips, are rolled into a thickness of between 16 and 1.8 millimeters. Between the rolls, we see an upper looper, which measures and controls, amongst other things, the line speed and the strip tension. The swinging motion that can be observed is when the up looper is adjusting itself. In order to control the profile and the flatness of the strips, the working rolls are horizontally adjustable. The first stands control the profile and in the later stands the flatness is controlled. 
It's very important to have a correct strip profile and flatness before any post-processing starts. The cooling rate is adapted to each strip to produce the appropriate microstructure and material properties of the end product. When the strip is passed through the cooling section, it's coiled in. The temperature during coiling varies between 150 and 750 degrees centigrade. Depending on the properties assigned to the material, after coiling and the subsequent cooling, the strip can be sold directly to the customer or undergo additional processing stages, for instance, cold rolling. In this video, the hot rolling process is explained. Thanks for watching. Keep following us, stay tuned, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the alarm to be notified of the new videos. Your feedback is appreciated so, please comment on this video. And if you like it give a thumbs up and share it. See you again.